What's going on, folks? Coley on Noir here. So what you're about to watch is a snippet from my new podcast called Pew Culture. So what Pew Culture is, is me and a good friend of mine named Jacob decided that we want to do a podcast about all the movies and the guns that are in the movies that we love. And you know how a lot of us gun guys, we like to watch movies and talk about how like, that's not right, that's not right, that's not right. Oh, I like that. I got that gun, got that gun. Yeah, that's pretty much kind of what this podcast is. For those guys that love to just critique guns in movies that honestly shouldn't be critiqued because they're not real, but we still do it anyway. But this is a clip from that podcast. So if you want to watch more episodes of this, just go to Pew Culture on YouTube, or you can click the link in the description section of this video and check it out. This podcast is rated PC for Pew Culture. Pew, 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 pew. You know what the other great thing about Ang Lee and Will Smith is? They're dead serious about using the correct reticle. That is an actual VCOG reticle because That's, they look through the reticle uh, and okay. they go, and they this it. is what's in there. They don't just pick a random thing off Fiverr and go, Got you know what? <laughs> this is what <laughs> this we're going to use. Work. We use this one. Because it, doesn't that drive you crazy? It, like, even though you know I don't like EOTech, uh, <laughs> when you look at it and you're like, the death donut isn't in there? Like, you know yeah, that. It's like, like, yeah, that is, come, like, on. come on. What are y'all doing here? You know, we're there watching. Um, the reason the like I was saying, the reason the stunts are so amazing is because it's JJ Perry. Mm -hmm. JJ and I have been working together for a long time. He's now directing the Did Day Shift. Um, we got a new movie with Ice Cube coming out. Can't talk about it too much, but a uh, little bit of Ice Cube, a little bit of Dave, Dave Bautista. Okay. Um, that's going to be a lot of fun, and we'll have JJ on the show to uh, to talk more about that. But um, it just takes forever. And then I, I see I, – they get done with one of the shots, and they're like, all right, set it up. We're going to run it back. And I'm like, I'm out of here. Like, I'm, I'm going down. There's probably a food so what truck. Was, so what was it about this camera? Like, what is it about the camera that makes it so hard to get the shots? It's not that it's so hard. Well, first of all, a camera like this required – the camera that they used required such specific and perfect lighting mm. to even work. Gotcha. Like, it is – yeah, here you go. The, the oh, Ari the Alexa. Alexa. Okay. And it, this was, the, like I said, very first movie ever used making it. And it was just, it was miserable. Like, it was a miserable experience. Like, even just, I felt bad for everybody. Because if it wasn't lit perfect, if it didn't move perfect, if every single thing wasn't perfect, you're doing this whole thing over again. Well, why did they have to use that camera? They didn't have to. Yeah. The, the whole goal was to go, okay, we're making, we're making this super technologically advanced movie, right, that... Mm -hmm no one's ever seen this kind of CGI. No one's ever done this. Like, how about we use this camera that's going to make the movie even wilder? But how? It looked like a regular, look, when I watched it. You, got, you, it had to go, you had to go see it in the special theater, oh. the special IMAX theater, to actually see to how actually it get, played. Gotcha. So now when you go back and watch it on your t TV. 4K TV, yeah, yeah, it doesn't even yeah. do what we spent all the time doing, which okay. is what... Going back to the whole budget conversation, if they knew what they knew, they could have cut that out. Yeah. And I bet you the it, it would have cost them a hundred million dollars to make this movie. I mean, and this they would have came out on top. I th I think this is like a fifty million dollar movie. Easy. You have Will Smith in it, so you know what I mean. Like, but when, he was when, only he was the only like he was the only A list actor in the movie. No, Clive Owens in it. Oh yeah. Clive Owens, not not like you know insane, but I mean yeah, obviously yeah. Sin City, Children of Men, which yeah. we're going to cover yeah, Children right, of Men yeah. later, I and Sin City. Um, and then you had uh, Mary, what's the girl's so he name? Got what, he got paid what twelve point five. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you you and and that doesn't even count uh, any profit bonuses at gotcha. the end either. So. Um, wrong business. Yeah, Mary Mary Elizabeth Weinstead, she was the other one. Um, she's well known for you know Scott Pilgrim and. Stuff like that. So she was okay. Not not like a listen. When you have a Will Smith, a Jason Statham, a Denzel Washington, you just need to have a solid cast. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have, you don't have to be the Avengers every time, <laughs> um, which is total or Fast and the Furious. Because the only thing that let's be honest, the only thing that carries Fast and the Furious is the cast. Yeah, pretty like much. It, without the family, yeah, but... <laughs> there is no movie. Um, and they they know that too. You know that's the reason why Vin wanted Dwayne back so bad. Like, but that's never going to happen, and we're never going to get Hobbs and Shaw again. 
One thing's for certain and two things are for sure. Politicians and tech giants don't want gun content to be recommended to you. And we're all fighting this culture war together. Now you can help do your part by liking, commenting, subscribing to the channel, but most importantly, sharing this video with at least one person. Together we can stop the suppression of our two-way rights. And don't forget to click the link in the description section of this video for the products that I mentioned in this video.